Alright guys, welcome back and my name is Arsalan. Um yeah, following the same pattern, writing our goals to achieve in this video, in this follow-up. And this follow up uh, follow up is number seven. Mm. Number one This will pretty be a longer one, I believe. Um, and now as we have our data in these properties we have to just make it go to through from the form to the database yes okay goals mm, save mm, data to database okay make a method make sure you are in a class public void save data mm. you have a string you have to make a new connection and what else are the required okay sql connection con is equals to new sql connection with a con str Shit. Con is to the connection string and uh, making a insert query string in query is equals to insert into details so let me see do I have something over here wait okay here we have our table we have to make sure that we write the exact same names okay for order ID mm. Order ID date customer name or ID date customer name customer cell customer cell details quantity rate details quantity rate and amount advanced balance mm, amount amount advanced balance okay values values make a copy of it here we have our insert query now mm, yes sql command no 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 sql command ah yes 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 cmd is equal to new sql command with a con connection and and insert query okay sorry connection cmd dot dot parameters dot add is equals to new sql parameter parameter order id and here comes the object value and here's our object order id now i will copy and paste and just changes will change the values okay sorry
Order ID Date Date Customer name Customer name Customer cell Customer cell details 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 quantity 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 rate rate and amount rate to left rate amount advance and balance advance balance here we go whoa balance now okay uh, we have to open the connection con dot open cmd dot execute non query con dot close hmm. okay that is it now we have to test it on button one click event right try and double click it a uh, double tap the tap key this tap key double uh, two and you will get this whole snippet um db code start save data db code start save data and we also have to call the links method else exception x throw okay let's test it Customer name Rishnan zero zero okay so let it do one two three four five six seven card details excellent fresh x y z quantity one hundred rate ten total amount this advance five hundred proceed now let's wait for an error and exactly I get an error okay so I found that I forgot to make an uh, right add add after every values before at every values so make sure you also do this do the same to order and now I believe that it must run perfectly. A R S A N N one two three four five six um, good uh, one hundred ten uh, five hundred and yeah it ran perfect. Let's test. select up here's our data okay that's good time uh, we will uh, I mean 
I hope you get the whole concept and idea and in the next tutorial we will going to make some validation entries and uh, we'll try to make a functionality which will select the value of zero as soon as it get active and some other stuff i hope you enjoy we will be right back soon thank you feel free to connect and contact allah